the, for a while there was a wait list, yeah, and I was actually on the Natural Resources Commission for a few years, and what we did was when the gardens turned over, we divided them in half. So this is a half garden. We have half and somebody else has half. And uh, that way more people got access to the sure. gardens. Some people have a full garden, some people have a half garden. Well, my wife's actually from Indiana, so she's the real farmer. I grew up on Long Island, and I didn't know the difference between one crop or another, so I'm learning as you go. The guy next door, Ben's a real gardener. Um, but uh, we've had good luck with, uh, you know, lettuce early in the year. We have great uh, luck with butternut squash now late in the year. Uh, stuff, some stuff seems to go up and down. And broccoli this year, I got nothing. One year, I got a lot. Um, well, like I say, I'm kind of a rookie, but a lot of people say it's, it's partly the soil. I mean, depending on whether you've got the right stuff in the soil, you will or won't be able to grow certain stuff. Mostly cow manure. Okay. <laughs> uh, I mean, my wife, as I say, from Indiana, is that the, the soil prep is key and then go from there and, and you know it's uh, I, I'm pretty much let it be I'm watering now but I don't water much during the year um, and we get what we get but the sage is great the uh, butternut squash has been great the peas early in the year were great some other stuff beets were good uh, broccoli was a bust um, some people have asparagus asparagus growing but I don't have the patience for that that's like this over here is asparagus and you know you get a little bit in the spring and you have to cut it every day and then for the rest of the year, it just grows. If you buy a pack of asparagus seed, it says time to harvest 732 days. It's a couple of years. It's like a couple of years <laughs> okay. until you actually get an asparagus. Because the zucchini starts coming and it grows like a weed. Summer squash is kind of like that too. Other stuff. We get carrots this year too. It's good. It's like a lot. It's like painting yeah. <laughs> in the sense of a lot of work's in the prep. I mean, you got to get the soil conditioned in the beginning in the spring. I usually do a lot of work right around the marathon. Mm -hmm. So as the marathon is going by, I'll come down here and try to get it all set up. And then, you know, after that, if it's well set up, it usually does pretty well. It's kind of fun to grow stuff. Mm -hmm. I mean, I, as I said, I, I never did as a kid growing up. And so, you know, my wife has got me kind of doing this and everything. And uh, it's nice. The, the tomatoes, like you get a tomato out of here. I'll give you one at the end, a couple of them. There's nothing like it compared to the store. I mean, these things come right off the vine, you cut them, and they're delicious. It's so fresh, it's crazy. And we make spaghetti sauce out of it and stuff like that. It's, it's great, it's wonderful. As I say, honestly, my wife's the environmentalist and I'm along for the ride. Um, and uh, she's on Sustainable Wellsy and does a lot of great stuff with it. You know, uh, her name's Mary Gard. And uh, I'm, just, I'm just here to do the grunt work and get it ready and then it gets planted and off it goes kind of thing. Um, I think what I would say is if you're interested in it, ta contact the Natural Resources Commission, see whether there are spots opening up. Um, every year, you know, some people move out of town and spots open up. Uh, there might be a wait list now, but if people were interested, they should still get on it because, you know, someday I'm going to move, I'll give it up, next person has it. Um, I think of it as a library book, you know, it turns over over time, and different people use it. Over there right now, harvesting a raspberries, you get to know various people, hand stuff to each other. Some people may have a surplus of zucchini and they'll trade that for some tomatoes or something like that. Some people leave stuff right out on the bench when there's just too much of it. They're just like, please take it because it's, it's better than letting it go to waste.